So the UN Special Rapporteur investigating the murder of Jamal Khashoggi says evidence shows the journalist was the victim of a brutal, premeditated killing by Saudi Arabian officials. Agnes Kalamar has released uh, part of her report saying the murder was the gravest violation of the most fundamental of all rights, the right to life. The Special Rapporteur travelled to Ankara and Istanbul with a team of experts to investigate the murder. Well, her preliminary findings conclude that Saudi Arabia seriously undermined Turkey's efforts to investigate the Khashoggi murder at its consulate in Istanbul. She asked for an official visit to Saudi Arabia over what she calls major concerns about the fairness in the trial of 11 suspects. So we've got Sinem Kosiolu, uh, our correspondent in Istanbul. Why don't you take us through a little more detail of what's come out from the special rapporteur? Uh, well, it is very important that Agnes Kalamar's reports, actually, report, uh, the first initial uh, report is actually uh, complementing what Turkey has been saying since the beginning of this investigation. She has appreciated Turkey's efforts in terms of crime investigation, evidence collecting, being impartial, independent and transparent and being in line with international law. Of course, this is something that Turkish officials uh, are going to be very happy about. The details of the report actually will, uh, will come out soon when uh, the, the main report is going to be published in June. But uh, Agnes Kalamart has very important points. Uh, the first one is that she has defined that Jamal Khashoggi was brutally murdered by officials of the state of Saudi Arabia. Actually, she hasn't mentioned whether these are senior officials or or they are very close to the uh, royal family, mainly the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. But she has defined that it was premeditated, planned by the Saudi state itself. So this is something very important to be said from, uh, uh, from the top international community worldwide. And she actually uh, makes a call to all international uh, institutions and international community that there is a big violation in terms of international law and diplomacy. And she defines uh, the irresponsible behavior, attitude of the Saudi officials and diplomats in Turkey uh, as immunity for impunity. So actually she's trying to, uh, she, she means that everything, uh, the, the, uh, what happened uh, in the Saudi consulate, which is right behind me right now, uh, was done under the cover of a diplomatic mission. So this is very important. Also, she has mentioned uh, that she is waiting for some more evidence uh, to receive uh, from the Turkish officials, because as far as I have spoken to Turkish officials during her visit to Ankara, she has asked for crime scene investigation reports, uh, as well as the uh, audio recordings uh, that, uh, that tell, that show uh, how Jamal Khashoggi was murdered by the Saudi officials inside the consulate. And just one day before her departure from Turkey, uh, Turkish intelligence made her listen to that audio recordings. This is what we have confirmed from the Turkish side. Uh, but of course, she wasn't, given the, uh, she wasn't given that material because since it is an intelligence gathered material, uh, according to uh, Turkish laws and international laws, these kinds of evidence cannot be uh, considered as a primary evidence in an investigation file. Uh, but uh, uh, Turkish officials say that since the investigation is still underway in Turkey, the indictment hasn't been out yet because Jamal Khashoggi's body is still not found, hasn't been found. Uh, that's why Turkish officials are not able to give all the information, all the evidence actually, mm. uh, all the evidence to Agnes Kalamart, but it seems that uh, her trip was satisfying uh, from Turkey and uh, she will be chasing after Jamal Khashoggi's murder investigation. Sinim Kosioli with that update from outside the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Thank you. Let's talk now to Sigurd Nubau, who is a non-resident fellow at the Gulf International Forum. He's in Washington, D.C. So tell us about the weight that this adds, because what the special rapporteur is saying isn't exactly new. It is what has been presented by a number of sides already. But does this add real weight to the argument? 
Well, um, to add to um, the special rapporteur's um, visit uh, to Istanbul today, um, and the Wall Street Journal just reported here in the United States that uh, the Saudi authorities had uh, conducted their own investigation, which was based on the WhatsApp text messages between uh, Prince uh, Mohammed of Saudi Arabia and his uh, chief enforcer, um, Saud al Khatani, who has been widely considered here in the United States to be. Uh, the person uh, orchestrating um, the uh, murder and the operation leading up to the murder of uh, Jamal Khashoggi. So uh, the Wall Street Journal today said uh, that uh, uh, that the internal Saudi probe had determined that there was no link um, between mm -hmm. Prince Mohammed and uh, and uh, uh, and uh, Saud al Khatani on this issue. Why is this significant? Because it coincides uh, precisely with the special rapporteur um, who is now in Turkey and trying to uh, uh, to bring a very sensitive diplomatic process between Saudi Arabia and Turkey and into the foray of the United Nations. Mm. Well, in the, uh, on that point, what can the United Nations actually do or any particular arm of the United Nations do? It strikes me that there's often calls for independent investigations of this ilk from the UN, but they can be selectively listened to or selectively adhered to. Yes, I think I think that uh, as your correspondent uh, just reported in the segment before I came on was that uh, uh, the Turkish authorities have uh, decided not to share all um, the evidence as of yet with the rapporteur um, uh, uh, beyond what is already uh, known publicly. The question is this: is that will the rapporteur's report? Uh, potentially to the uh, United Nations Secretary General, will that be released, or will the Turkish authorities seek uh, to uh, uh, to bring that report before the United Nations Security Council? And if so, then the, then how will the United States respond to uh, this issue vis-à-vis uh, -vis Saudi Arabia? So this is an extraordinary com complex diplomatic uh, game that is um, unfolding. Uh, does it need pressure from? one country in particular, and by that I mean the United States. I mean, I know there is, a, there is a movement there at the moment with the Magnitsky Act, which has been invoked, and they're waiting for a response from Donald Trump there. Does it need some real weight from there, and is there any chance of that coming? I think that that's exactly why the Turkish authorities are not uh, pushing this issue uh, as, uh, as uh, far as they could at this moment, because we know that the Democrats uh, who control the House of Representatives uh, here in the United States are uh, launching their own investigations into this matter. And uh, whether or not there, there will be some sort of a of an understanding between the Democrats and the Trump administration on how to proceed on this issue and how to deal with Saudi Arabia on the Khashoggi murder, that, that of course remains to be seen. And in the meantime, I think that the Turkish authorities are, are uh, they were escalating some of the pressures uh, through uh, cooperating with the rapporteur, but they're not they're not uh, taking it as far as uh, as they could because uh, the political conditions in the United States are not ripe at this moment. Sigurd Neubauer joining us from Washington to talk through this latest development in the case of Jamal Khashoggi. Thank you. Uh, there's another organization seeking action as well for Khashoggi's killing. That's the Committee to Protect Journalists, the CPJ. Uh, it's called for accountability at a news conference in front of the White House earlier on Thursday, wants the Trump administration to send a stronger message to the Saudi government. The most chilling message sent by the murder of Jamal Khashoggi is that no one is safe from Saudi Arabia's brutal reach. But this need not be true. A strong response from the U.S. government and from President Trump himself and other governments would send a message to the Saudi authorities that acts such as the murder of Jamal Khashoggi will not be tolerated.